Oh yes, you certainly need these. I'll show you how. No mods, no cheats. Let's crack on. Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. So, having got ourselves a Reichling pet follower, I've decided to stay in Solstein for a bit. And whilst it may seem I'm going off on a tangent with my videos, in reality I'm pulling a whole load of things together. So we can get unique enchantments, weapons, smithing enhancements and shouts that will make us and our followers so much stronger and harder to kill. And today we're going after Spider Scrolls. These are mad and they are found at White Ridge Barrow in the northern part of Solstein. So, starting off in Raven Rock, we can go several ways. Uh, one of them's right along the coastline, up to White Ridge Barrow that way. There's a few things we want to discover on the way there. Or we can go to Thirsk Mead Hall and cut across uh, past Mirax Temple. Which is a much longer uh, trip to be honest with you but there's a few things you want to discover on the way as well so so there it is okay it's a bit of a trek now one little bit of word of warning if you uh, get into a fight and some rightling appear uh, don't kill them straight away because they could actually be there to help you um, I made the mistake and killed one of the little darlings and uh, I really regret it. I didn't realise until afterwards what was going on, so just bear that in mind. Anyway, so let's get going. Okay, so let's crack on and I'm going to be doing this as uh, more of a playthrough than a fully-fledged walkthrough. I'll be pulling up most of the uh, poignant stuff. Um, I also haven't practised enough in this barrow to be utterly expert with it, but uh, oh, I'll do all right. Now, whatever you do, make sure you bring a pickaxe with you uh, and mine everything. And even when you're coming up to the barrow, you'll be coming across uh, like gem mines, like ruby ores and stuff like that. Uh, m uh, mine them. Mine everything. Okay. You'll see why later. And some of the loot in here is actually quite good, um, surprisingly. These guys died a pretty gruesome death by the looks of it. And this poor little chap was obviously trying to get out and they locked him. They locked him in. Poor sap. Okay. Some decent loot there. Lots of ingredients around. As usual, always pick up ingredients. Always, always, always. Now you can come across a few of these guys and make sure you grab the uh, the pods. Some will be damaged and some will be um, good. Both are useful. So don't discard the damaged ones. If you've got good arrows, um, use iron or the steel or the cheapest arrows you've got. Um, don't waste your good arrows on, on the spiders. Unless you have to, of course. So anyway, onwards and downwards. Here's the first spider we're going to come across. Got a pick, good, good. I put 270 lockpicks down somewhere and I can't find them. I still got 450 odd, but uh, it's still bugging me. I've got a guilty secret. I, I love uh, modded homes and I've obviously put them in a home somewhere and I just can't remember where it was. Ooh, right up the jacksy. Like I say, whatever you do, make sure you loot these.
Oh, and when you're going through anywhere in Solstheim, uh, keep an eye out for weapon with the Chaos Enchantment. Um, I can do a video next on, uh, or shortly, on the Champion's... Um, I think Champion's Cudgel. And it's got the Chaos uh, Enchantment on it. Um, and I don't really want to disenchant that unless I have to. And I will do. But it's uh, an enchantment we're, we're looking for and it's important to the build I'll be coming to later on. So keep your eyes on that, guys. Don't, don't let that one slip. Grab it. Even if it's on the cheapest piece of crap and you've got 20 ebony war axes, just make sure you grab that enchantment. Okay. Now these guys can do a lot of damage, which is good, because we'll be using them later on. And as you can see, you can't uh, loot the flame spiders. I'm assuming that's a flame cloak. There's a little soldier over here, nom nom. Okay, mine. I'll let Jenna take care of them. That stopped me mining. I was in action, so uh, I wasn't being attacked by enemies, so it stops you. Okay. Now, this is something I very rarely do, but you really want to do this, guys. Doesn't make good video, but uh, hey. Now you have to shoot these buggers twice. Okay, one bursts a pod and then one kills a spider. And you very rarely can find your arrows afterwards. There may be no enemy more foul. A walking corpse. Oh, 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 oh. It's always handy to have a follow in here because these little buggers come up from behind and they can do a significant amount of damage. I think I'll try a different weapon uh, than just my uh, bow. See if that works. Let's mix, let's mix things up a bit. Oh, a little cheap star for sparks, that does a trick. Hey, you can see how dangerous these things are. Oh, that's one of the jumping ones. Okay, grabbing all my books. And just let you know, I've unlocked the final um, uh, Thief's Cache as well. I'll be doing a video of that. In fact, I'll probably redo uh, my Thief's Cache uh, video to get all the locations uh, on it. Just trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. No, nope, it's all good. Okay, let's pull the chain. And this is where we come across some of the mind-controlled guys. Yeah, I haven't mentioned some of these spiders you can actually throw on an enemy and it takes over their mind and makes them fight for you. Um, and that's what this guy is. They've got a kind of a, a yellowy hue on them when they're uh, under the influence. Okay, now if you turn up the back here, there's a few mushrooms around, grab them, nom nom. Come up here, 
Use your flames to uh, well take care of this guy first. There you go, job done. Um, you need to use flames to uh, get through here. Yeah, this stuff sparks is a little bit rubbish actually. Anywho, make your way in. There's a couple of spiders around. Okay, small pods. Num num. And some glowing mushrooms. The hitbox on these are so small, they're a pain. Come on, there you go, come to daddy. I hear a drogger. I hear him, there he is. <laughs> And there he was. And a little chest around the side here, guys. And it's the usual leveled loot stuff. Uh, nothing great at this stage. Grab bone meal and salt piles as well. Come right, because um, there's plenty of stuff to grab. And another chest here. No, no, I'm seven gold. I don't know why I keep on looting. On my walkthroughs, uh, when I'm actually doing a proper walkthrough, um, to be honest with you, I, I don't. Um, what I'll do is actually off camera go back in and loot. I just can't help myself. I've got so much money and, and nothing to actually buy. And I don't even need to pick up things like ebony swords and stuff, you know, I, I can make them. Um, but hey, it's all good fun. Okay, enchanted weapon there if you need it. Good night. That went straight through him. Oh, twelve arrows, that's good. I don't want to use my, my flame, frost, or uh, shock arrows on, on these, or my uh, good quality glass arrows. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, I'll tell you the uh the British bugger. I don't know what's happened recently. It's, it's uh, my bugs clipping a lot. It wasn't happening before. Uh, 
Okay, try some spells now. I'm just going to mix it up and then uh, make up as we go along. Okay, nom nom. Heartstone, nom nom. So basically she's saying I'm a bit thick. <laughs> she's not wrong, to be fair. I mean, there's an exploding spider around the corner and I'm hacking at a rock with a pickaxe. I think I've got the wrong spell uh, equipped. <laughs> this is you're actually seeing me what I do like in in a uh, a run through before I do a proper walk through. I'll um I'll I'll try lots of different things. And as you can see, most of them don't work. Yeah, it keeps on um, equipping um, my frost and um, shock arrows. For some weird reason. Oh, oh. Are uh, these a little rifling I was telling you about? <laughs> they just appear out of nowhere and help you. So, anyway, you kill uh, Mirilla and you take her. Uh, Jumping Flame Spriders and a journal, and you want the cage door key, and you can grab these if you want to. Okay, I won't read her journal at the moment. I'll read her brother's uh, because that's more important. But do read it yourself because uh, it kind of explains a bit of a backstory. Yeah, so these little guys will just pop up anywhere if you're if you're in trouble uh, or in a fight, they'll just pop up. And I made a horrendous mistake I didn't realise the first time, and um, I'd killed one of them. And by the time I'd worked out, I'd done so much that I didn't want to go back and uh, to an earlier save. I just didn't have time. Now, if you fall down here by any chance, I'll show you the way to come. You'll come back out this way, uh, but you want to go down in here anyway. Hey, look at that. Went straight through it. Now I've got massive fire resistance as well, and um, it's still doing me damage. There you go. Okay, let's just twat him. <laughs> Subtlety. Let's pick up those arrows if I can find them. Oh, like that. Nom nom. Oh, no wonder I had my muffled spell equipped. That's why it wasn't working. What a doofus. 
Okay, so we can clearly say, see with uh, hitting it with a hammer doesn't do anything. Why that is, I don't know. Where's the arrow? Yeah, so also it seems that you lose your arrows uh, as well in the red spiders. You get nothing out of them at all. There's a little chest here. It doesn't really give you much. And the reason why you want to come down here is because there's lots of little um, veins to mine. Now they seem to be concentrating a lot on rubies and stuff like that, but um, bring all, all your precious stones. Diamonds, um, no, you don't need those. But uh, sapphires and emeralds and stuff like that. And what I'm gonna do is a, uh, a full review, a full explanation on how these things work okay uh, what you need and what they do but I'll do that in a separate video Uh, another top tip uh, for you guys as well, if you see an ancient Nordic pickaxe, um, grab it, pick it up. You're going to need that in the future as well. I'll show you where you get one anyway, but uh, just in case you come across one. And here's our little Reichling buddy. Only one of them. Oh no, there's the other one over there. Okay. God, I feel bad about killing one of them, I really do. Okay, so we learnt the hammer doesn't work. You can't pick up arrows. And they're quick as hell and do a lot of damage. Which is good, because we're going to be using them. So, great. Just, you know, don't get killed down here while you're doing it. If you're fairly weak, um, or low-level character, then... I think you can see that you're going to want to quick save often in here. I mean, I've got a lot of health, a lot of fire resistance, um, and a lot of armour, and uh, they're damaging me, so... Okay, this is the word wall and the dragon priest. I'm gonna pop out the boys. Okay. And Shinevi gets this point here, he's gonna come out. I'm gonna see if I get a sneak attack on him. Here he comes. Bosh. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. <laughs> but prepared, all these dragon priests are quite tough, so uh And Wind Cyclone, that's the first one of that shout I've got. Jobs are good. And we get Dukan's Mask. And that increases frost resistance by 50% and the frost spell damage by 25%. Now that can be quite good, actually. Now, but also here, we're going to have a look at the black book. And there it is. Now we're doing this little walkthrough on this in a separate uh, video, but this is what happens when you pick it up.
As I told you. Well, there, little charm, her Maius Mora. Your free will is an illusion. Why else would you be? This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Sate to your thirst for knowledge in the endless stacks of my library. If you tire of this urge, read your book again to return to your mortal life. For a time, the lure of Apocrypha will call you back. It is your fate. Okay, so you can just read the book again and that'll take you back into the barrow. Okay, but you started the black book, The Cellar Regent. Um, this is great, this is great, and I'll be doing a vi uh, video on this. Um, you do want to do this. Uh, so read it again, it'll pop you back. So he's essentially telling, telling you that if you want to come back and do this, just read your book again, it'll drag you back in. There you go. So you don't have to do it right now. But you have to in Solstein when you open the book, by the way. Okay, so onwards. Okay. I've got a lot of things to mind here, but there are a lot of spiders around here, guys, so so be careful. Oh, they jump, they properly jump. Yeah, you've got to be quite quick with these guys. Okay, grab the pods. And they do sneak out of nowhere as well. This is why I love conjuration. You can, you can uh, conjure up a Dramora Lord or an Atronac to uh, tank your damage for you and distract your enemies. As you can tell, I'm pretty rubbish at combat. That's probably why I like the sneaky builds so much. Okay, I'll quickly speed this up um, for the mining and the looting. Okay, and I'll see you at the other end. Yeah, there's a whole load to, to loot down here, loads of uh, pods and uh, uh, books and uh, there's tons and tons of stuff, so take your time. Um, and there's several um, uh, veins for you to mine as well, so yeah, just just uh, grab it all. And like I say, if you come light, you can walk away with a lot of good gear. Not necessarily your big gear, like, like your ebony stuff or your Daedric stuff, but stuff you can really, really use. Uh, especially ingredients, uh, etc. Okay. And that's it. Mine some stuff and... Uh, and job done. Okay, before we go and find the imbuing chamber, um, one last little room you want to take care of is you want to come in here. Uh, because obviously you grab the key, you don't need to uh, pick the lock. I would suggest you go sneaky as well. Because just through this door here, there's a load of um, bandits or reavers that have, uh, are under mind control. Let's 
free gold in it, nom nom. Okay, get yourself ready for a bit of a fight. I just want to get out. Can, can, can I play? I'll <laughs> oh, just get the bow out. I can't even get a shot in. Hey, I just. I, yeah, oh, well, who cares? Um, job's done. Anyway, so pop in there and uh, you can loot these guys. And see what these guys have got. Butter, lock pick, that's good. Gold, lock picks, num num. Yeah, no. Ruby, lovely. Lock pick, no. Yeah, peasant. Right, okay, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys in a future video how good I can make my little right thing. Oh, your little bugger. Oh, well, caught me by surprise then. I could take those. Okay, have a little hunt around. He's got um, several ingredients around. And we've got his um, journal here. It's all about how his sister's gone mad and she locks him in the uh, in the cage and clearly he's, he's died in there. Uh, I won't bother reading it. You guys read it for yourselves and, and read his sisters as well. It's quite a sad story. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll uh, cut past the book here. And also gives you some insights into what sent his sister mad, which is the World War and possibly the Black Book, uh, which is in another chamber, which they locked up. Um, so you've got some more pods, you've got some rubies and salt piles here. Now, like I said, I'll give you all the recipes. Um, there should be a, a note here with, with a couple of recipes on it. And uh, I'm not sure if it's in his book. I'm sure it's on a separate. No. No, there's a, a recipe, uh, there should be a note on here somewhere with some recipes. Oh, man, what's under that table there? There it is. Can I, can I get it? No, we don't want to, shall I take that anyway? Nom nom. Oh, there it is, just past it. Can't get that, oh, there it is. Okay, right, so you've got some recipes here. A ruby plus a diamond, uh, a damaged pod is an exploding flame spider. Ruby plus a salt pile plus a damaged pod doesn't work. Ruby plus a salt pile plus an albino pod is a flame cloak spider. Um, now he's basically saying the ruby works and uh, it can be working, it can work with other uh, gems as well. Now diamond doesn't work, um, but I think sapphires uh, etc uh, do so but anyway in my um, unique items video that, that I'll do on this uh, I'll give you all the recipes and I'll show you all the damage they do and which one's the best and which one isn't um, pretty well it doesn't matter they're all bloody awesome to be fair <laughs> but some are better than others 
Okay, so a quick demo here. Just search the imbuing chamber, pop in. Uh, where's a ruby? Ah, now if you use a flawless ruby, uh, rather than ruby, you'll get six pods rather than the three. Okay, uh, that's worth bearing in mind. Anyway, this is just a quick one. I'll go through some more detail in another video. Okay, and you want some salt? Just one. And then store that and then activate the immune switch. Okay, so you've got uh, two times three there, you've got six. Now, what you can put, for example, is 10 rubies in there, 10 salt and 10 pods, and you'll get 30 of the flawless 60 um, uh, spiders, okay? So that's how it works. As I say, I could go into a lot more detail um, uh, in another video. And... Um, I'm going to take these out for a test run soon as well <laughs> and see how they go. All right, now just further down here towards the end, you've got a couple of more veins to uh, knock away. Okay. It's just the two, I think. And mine away. Now I suggest you come here with loads of, uh, well watch my um, uh, unique items uh, video uh, with all the recipes. Um, grab all the gear and bring that with you. Uh, but you can come back here, just fast travel to White uh, Ridge Barrow and then you run across the, uh, the snow for a bit and, and you're back in to this entrance here. Now you will be attacked here as you leave and uh, by frost spiders. And Genesa hits back next straight away, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I dealt with them pretty sharpish. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's interesting how she changes her staffs, actually, um, because the frost spiders will have a, a weakness to fire. But I'm assuming they have a weakness to shock as well, but hey. Anyway. Pop over here and you get the sapphire geode. So obviously a sapphire plus a spider pod plus salt, um, or just sapphire plus a pod, uh, will give you uh, a frost enchanted spider, whichever version you get. So hopefully you see my um, guide uh, on these spiders. Um, so make your selection of what you want, or indeed if you want all of them. Um, bring as many ingredients with you as you can. Um, you'll find plenty of veins to mine uh, all the way around Solstheim. Um, now, you can easily travel back here, just from White Ridge Barrow. It's just across the uh, uh, the way there, so you can always come back and, and make some more. But if you can make as many as you, you can at the beginning, that saves you travelling all the way back, which uh, can be a pain. So, anyway, I'll go and give these uh, a little workout and see how they go. And... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the uh, playthrough style. Now if you prefer the playthrough rather than the walkthrough or you prefer the walkthrough rather than the playthrough, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, indeed let me, any, any other comments you've got, please let, let me know. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it guys and have fun. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.